Yeso has invited me to create some outfits for the INFP MBTI. This is how I personally think that an INFP style vibe would fit. This is going to be a try on haul which means that I'll be trying on the items later. Be sure to keep watching till the end. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here's the first item. It's this really beautiful long dress. I tried to pick a lot of earthy tones. It also has some florals on it. It's the dress. Oh gosh. Can't wait to try this on later. Okay, so next up I also got this long sleeved shirt. It feels really nice. I also have this butterfly hair clip. I think the design is just so cute. It feels like it's going to be quite strong, so I'm hoping that it is because this is really pretty and I'd love to use this more. Next up, I got a hairband because when I did look up INFP clothing, I saw a lot of light academia wear, so this kind of gave the vibes for me, so I wanted to get it. So this is how it looks like, it's very pretty. Okay, so next up I also got these necklaces. Um, there's this butterfly one and also this one with a fairy. And then also this design of a cross with um, some roses on it, which I don't know if I want to wear. So next up I got this super pretty bracelet. I don't usually wear bracelets and I actually wanted to get a like bangle, but the ones I wanted were sold out, but I still wanted to, to try and see how much I like wearing bracelets, so I got some. I also got these super cute butterfly clips that I can put in my hair or on my clothes. I don't know, I feel like butterflies for me personally felt like an INFP thing, so I got a lot of butterfly stuff. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they look kind of realistic. I got a long maxi skirt. Which I hope isn't too long because I have this problem a lot where my skirts are too long and I have to end up rolling them up or using, I don't know, some type of trick or hack. But to be fair, I feel like I could still wear this as a dress instead if needed, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next up I also got this super cute um, printed t-shirt with butterflies on it and it also says hope you have a nice world. And that is such a random quote, but you know, continuing. I think it's so pretty. I got it in an oversized size because I could use more oversized clothes. Um, and as you can see, here are the butterflies. I also got this sweater that says sure on here and that's quite cute. But I do have to say that the material is quite thin, so it's not really a winter thing unless you wear like thermal clothes underneath or above um so yeah that was the last item so let's get into the try on okay so here's the dress it feels really comfortable and it's very stretchy i would also like to say that this dress is also okay for all of the short girlies out there because i'm super short it isn't too long for me which is really good and my dresses tend to be longer than they should be but yeah here's the dress i think it fits me quite well Okay, so here's the sweater that I called a long sleeve shirt. Um, I feel like the color green matches me quite well, so I feel like I should wear it more from now on. So, I will do that. It's also 100% cotton, which is really nice, and it feels super soft to wear. Look at how cute that is in my hair. It's a little butterfly. It's the simple things in life. I feel like they're so cute there and I don't want to take them off. These butterfly clips actually remind me of a photo shoot I did when I was... 12 turning 13 in the philippines it was a photo shoot and it was kind of like a dark clean vibe and it was really cool um the photographers took some really nice pictures they put butterflies like this all over me i will put it on the screen if i remember to do so maybe i'll do one of my own concepts someday i feel like back then i wasn't really into modeling as much as i am now i mean even now i'm not really that into modeling i think it's a cool concept to take pictures in pretty clothes and stuff but i don't know if i'm, I'm like model material in that sense at some point i actually did want to get into like professional modeling but i don't know knowing myself i i can get quite overstimulated and when i get overstimulated i look annoyed and i feel very 
bad. Like I just feel very tired immediately. Like my energy just drains to the bottom and I can't enjoy the day properly. Like in my head I know I would enjoy it if I was in the right like energy level. And I feel like I'm quite a contrast of my mom because my mom loves traveling and then doing stuff and she has so, like I feel like she has an energy reserve for traveling. Whereas for me, I don't have that. My energy just drains to the bottom at some point in our trips and then sometimes I just I don't feel like taking pictures, um, which I regret after, but it's just I'm not in the mood to take pictures sometimes, um, which is my my <laughs> my weakness. I'm gonna try on this hair clip real quick and then we'll continue with the rest of the clothes. What do you think? Does it look nice? I hope it does. I just quickly put it in so it actually might not look that good, but put this on over my other sweater because it's really cold right now and I don't think it will change it too much. Okay, so here is this top. It is quite thin, so maybe not so much for the winter. Actually, a sweater that you could probably wear in the summer if it isn't too hot, obviously. Here's the butterfly clip. Does it look okay? Yeah? Good. I don't know if wearing this under it is a vibe, but I'm just gonna feel like it is so that I can continue. <laughs> okay, so this is my headband. I really like the pattern. It's really pretty. So, yeah. Please imagine this without this underneath it. Unless if you think it slays, then, then don't imagine it without it. Then see it as it is. Because you think it slays, and your opinion matters somewhat in when it comes to to me um no 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 because your opinion holds some amount of value to me if i decide it holds value to me i'm i'm trying to be really careful with my wording here because i don't want to make it sound like i'm okay with random people's opinions on me all the time <laughs> Here's also the bracelet that I got. I'll be trying on all of these necklaces now, but I do also still have two other clothing items to try on and show you guys. I also want to say Happy New Year because I haven't really said it on the channel yet. And it's kind of crazy that 2023 is over now. I absolutely have no clue what to expect from this year. I just hope it treats me well. I feel like New Year is a really good time to really get into a new routine. Um, and I know people might diss that, like, oh, people making New Year's resolutions. All of the choices we make are choices we make, even if it's not to do something. I hope this year will be a good one for everyone around me. So much can happen in a year. I don't know, I hope this will be a peaceful year for people. And if it's hectic, at least I hope it's filled with as much love as there is chaos. You know. Okay, so here are the necklaces and let's get into the next item. Okay, so let's try on the next one. I'm so excited about right. Okay, so here's the oversized shirt. I probably wouldn't be wearing it with this underneath, but I think it looks really cute. Um, so imagine this gone or maybe some white underneath or brown and then this dress. Okay, so what I would do here is I'd probably roll it up like this. I feel like doing this creates some movement in the clothing. So I could probably tie it up like this or maybe do some other fashion hacks that the girlies tell me to do. So here we also have the last item, which is a long skirt. You know what I love about being a creator that has low energy? <laughs> is that I end up wearing tons of layers over each other just to save time. This skirt is not too long for me and it looks like the pictures. And for reference, I am 5 foot. I also apologize that I can't give a full view of the skirt. I want to work on that and I might get a tripod at some point. So that was the end of my try on haul. Every INFP I know just... It's just they got their own, they got their own world going on and I, I love them for it. I think I love people, I love learning about them, I love movies, I love shows, I love music, I love feeling what people create and seeing what people create. But I just get so tired around people because they are complex individuals that I might never understand and that's sort of scary. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to check out my other videos and leave a like and comment down below. I would also love to know which MBTI you are so you can leave that in the comments and also which item you liked most. I have some other hauls coming up, so be sure to keep following for that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>